Monarchs Lund. Welcome to Racing Monarchs. Let's get into it. Usually, when a caterpillar is about to J-hang, it will often choose an upside-down position. In other words, it J-hangs from a ceiling of sorts. But they've got a mind of their own, and so from time to time, they may decide to J-hang from a wall or a vertical structure in their enclosure. Is this a problem? Well, it can be. It's not always going to happen, but sometimes, if a side J-hanger goes to form its chrysalis, that side it's up against could be pressed against the chrysalis enough to where when the chrysalis hardens, it could have a flat end to it. A misshapen chrysalis can lead to wing deformities and other issues. So if you get a side J-hanger, it's probably a good idea to relocate it. Getting ready to J-hang, though, that's a sensitive time for the caterpillar. So I would say if you see one starting to form that silk button on the side of something, you go ahead and let it do it. Once it finally is J-hanging, though, that's the time where relocation can happen. To do this, though, you're going to need the proper tools for the job. Now, some of you have seen me use before in other videos these very small needle nose tweezers. Your standard tweezers for, I don't know, plucking eyebrows or something, they look like this, and this is actually a little bit too fat, a little too wide to do the job right. You've got to have the right tool for the job. So I would recommend if you're raising monarchs to have a pair like this already, so that you have them if the situation arises. That's a lot better than the situation arising and then having to scramble to find these. They can be found. They are out there. But you might have to go to like a tool store rather than just your typical Walmart, Meyer kind of run. All right, let's go for it. All right, now this guy's not side J hanging. He's J hanging normally. However, we can treat him like he's hanging from the side by you know, just tilting it a little bit. The removal of him while he's J hanging is the same technique if it was hanging on the side. So let's get into it and let's try to do it quickly so as not to put them under too much stress. Already from this position, I think you can see that really this would just be too thick to try to get in there and get at that silk button. So these tweezers, while that's probably what many of us have in the bathroom, uh, in the bathroom cabinet or drawer, this is just too thick to really get in there. And this is why, for me, these very small needle-like tweezers are the best tool that I have for the job. So I'm just going to grab a hold of that silk button and pull a little bit. Now some people will moisten the silk and that you could certainly do that. I find that that makes the silk a little bit more fragile, but it's up to you. It's your call. It does make the silk come off of the surfaces that it's attached to a little bit easier. So being ever so gentle and trying to only touch the silk, he doesn't like that. I'm going to grab a hold of just the silk and pull. Okay. Silk has been removed. Now, just as I do with the chrysalides, I'm going to wad this up a little bit. And now he's got an easy way to just be hung from our cord as normal. Let's go hang him up. Now, ever so gently, we hang him. And now he can hang properly. And here we are, just a couple days later. And you can see that the caterpillar that we relocated in, in its J-hang has successfully gone into chrysalis. Awesome. Well, there you have it. If you have a side J-hanger, hopefully this video gives you some information on what you can do to relocate it and possibly prevent having an issue with the chrysalis later on. Thank you for checking out this episode. Thank you for your interest in trying to help out the monarch butterfly. And I'll see you next time.